Hello, my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel. In this video we'll share some of the meals that we have this uh, week. It was some uh, really really nice and easy recipes. So today I'm just gonna make some Swedish pancakes and for that you need just some flour. And I had a bit of uh, flour left in the smaller package and then I have a larger package here that I just bought. Uh, and I also bought some uh, milk. This is uh, with low fat milk. Uh, you can also have, uh, if it's low fat, you can, if you want to add some cream. But I'm gonna make this with just this light milk today. Uh, you need some eggs. I'm gonna uh, have five eggs. And I just, just mix everything in my bowl here. this recipe before but uh, I wanted to show it again it's really really good the kids really love it you can uh, also serve this with soup before so I hope you will try it and let please let me know here you can see me just adding the preserves I choose uh, some strawberry preserves and some whipped cream with these pancakes <laughs>
as uh, dinner for this day, we had some uh, taco uh, patties. Just had some um, um, ground beef and pork that I will blend together with eggs some and some taco seasoning and uh, this and also some uh, onions this is a really nice uh, dinner it was really good we actually um, served this also with uh, just some oven roasted potatoes Scattered across the dusty floor In the backseat of my Chevy 58 Along with bits of candy wrappers Looking back to when our castle was a shack Vacation was making figure eights in the parking lot Remember when we used to So I'm just uh, adding these patties uh, in this pan, on this pan on the parchment paper and put it in the oven and uh, for the just to get a nice uh, surface on the plate I just had them uh, quite high up in the, uh, in the oven and also on the boiler and so they get a nice crisp brown uh, side and uh, for this also I just had uh, some of the uh, omarosa potatoes as I said and I just cut up in small pieces and uh, I just added some salt because I think that uh, the taco spice is quite spicy and also we had some uh, taco sauce uh, so uh, yeah it was really really uh, a nice uh, meal and we also uh, um, made this for my uh, father and mother-in-law who came and ate and with us we this also day. served this with tomatoes that I just cut up and some sour cream and also some taco sauce. This was a really nice dinner and I really hope that you will try this recipe. So on Monday we just have some cheese schnitzels and with uh, also with this curl fries in the oven. Uh, it is a really easy, simple, but really good uh, dinner. It was a long time ago since we had this curly fries and also the cheese schnitzel, so we wanted to, try to have that today. So you just put them in the oven for like uh, 30 minutes. And uh, we also served this with this uh, wok mix that I had left in my uh, freezer. And um, the kids really liked the schnitzel, but they didn't was so fond of the curly fries that's quite strange because they used to like that but that's the way it is sometimes um, so here is the bene sauce also the, uh, it's from a package that you just add uh, some water and some butter but I really like this kind of food uh, I like schnitzels but we don't do that as I said that often So here is my plate when it's all plated up. A really good and uh, nice meal. So now it's um, Tuesday and we're gonna have some fala sausage. I know I have ch uh, chose, uh, I chose, <laughs> I have uh, showing you this uh, recipe uh, or this kind of recipe uh, many times, but it's so good with this sausage that you can make so much uh, different varieties of the, this uh, sausage all from pizzas to stews to just fry them up as they are but uh, this time I'm gonna make some stroganoff so I will just um, cut my fala sausage, cut the tomatoes and the onions, fry them up put some creme fraiche in and just some um, spices and uh, first I was gonna serve this with some oat rice but I was very tired this day uh, so I just uh, took some uh, um, like already um, made, uh, what do you say, mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes, sorry, uh, and had that instead because I was so tired and <coughs> the oat rice had to boil quite a, a while, so yeah, 
you can do it with whatever you want but I decided just to have instant mashed potatoes with this this day So now the fodder sausage is um, uh, finished. I just uh, served this, as I said before, with some uh, pota mashed potatoes. And this is my plate, really nice. So now it's uh, Thursday and we had just some fish sticks with some uh, potatoes and some corn and some sauces um, that I had in my uh, fridge. Also really, really, really easy and nice meal. So that's everything from uh, me this week. And I hope that you enjoyed. And uh, I see you in my next video. Bye.